Hi, so well, welcome to today's live. My name is Rachel, your host for today. I need to have a special guest all the way from Italy. We have Mr. Giovanni as well as Mr. Marco. Let's say hello to our hello. audience. Hello. hello. Hi. So we are currently live on Instagram. So, but if you are going another alpha persona, such a bully, let that conversation be brought because we have these two uh, handsome men all the way from Italy. Uh, they will answer all your questions. Our conversation be brought. All right. So while we wait for your questions, Rachel put other questions. So I have a question. So my first question is. Maybe Mr. Marco, yeah, thank you. what are the inspirations behind some of the old Italia 916 pieces? So, good afternoon everyone for another time. It's a real pleasure to be here and to have an invitation from you. I want to start uh, with our Stella collection that is uh, inspired to the Venetian world. Ah, I have we a have picture a here. here. Ah. Exactly. Um, our designer took inspiration directly from the Rialto Bridge, that is our one of the most famous um, um, bridges in Venice. Mm -hmm. and exactly. And as you can see, the geometry of uh, the jewelry is um, reproducing the shape of the bridge and also the arches. So that's the first point. The second one regards the brightness of the item. In fact, uh, is um, a sort of reflection of the ray of light in the water. In the water. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. So it shines. It shines. Mm. It shines as the light into the Venetian water. So basically, that's the two uh, main inspiration that uh, our creative um, director decided to use for this collection. I see. This is yeah. how we also come up with the name Stella. Yeah, exactly. so Stella, like stars, so sparkle, exactly. like the stars, uh, and so shiny as well. Maybe we can exactly. give a close up to our audience uh, how shiny the pieces are. Also, uh, maybe we can move a little bit. Wow. Yeah, of course. Yes, to catch the you, light. You can see exactly the ray of light, no? The ray of light, yes. The light in the, in the piece. Alright, untuk semua yang sedang tonton sekarang, kami sedang tunjukkan Stella Collection. So Stella Collection, it diinspirasi oleh Rialto Bridge. Rialto Bridge, correct? Exactly, yes. correct. What is bridge in Bahasa again? Jejantas? Jambatan. Jambatan. <laughs> Alright, Jambatan, it is a bridge in Malay. So Rialto, Jambatan Rialto in Venice. So you can see the arch, you can see the curve, you can see the lines. And the stars, the sparkle comes from how the sun shines on the water. Really, really gorgeous. All right, someone's asking already. Akura, uh, the bangle inside the box so gorgeous. Does it have its S size? Uh, in the box, I think this is the one in S size. Yes, do we have yep. it in S size? Of yes. course. Yes, of course. Yes, we have yeah. in size S, M, L. We also have XL. XL. Yes, we have different sizes. Uh, it is available in different sizes as many sizes as you need they can be done wow all right this Giovanni say yes we do have the sizes s m l x l so if you like the piece screenshot contact your nearest showroom come to the pin comment di bawah pin tak comment di bawah sebentar lagi kami akan pin comment di bawah uh, anda boleh hubungi bilik pameran yang berdekatan dengan anda untuk dapatkan this a beautiful piece Alright, so kalau anda ada apa-apa soalan saja uh, bertentangan over Italia 916, you can always ask us in the comment section di bawah. Alright, so next question. Maybe for Mr. Giovanni. Pleasure. Alright, so what makes over Italia 916 pieces special? Well, yes. 916 uh, or Italia speciality is basically, uh, basically comes from the technique that has been used to create all this stuff. The craftsmanship, the accuracy in uh, producing pieces uh, of jewelry that are an assembling, an assembling of different different uh, kind of elements. Let's take, for example, again, uh, this piece of jewelry. This is uh, a gondola collection piece. Uh, and to make a piece of jewelry like this, uh, you have to be very accurate in selecting the right color combination wow. to assemble 
the bees uh, in order that they can have uh, this succession, this sequence of colors, and the accuracy in uh, making uh, pieces of jewelry must reside also in choosing the width, the sections of colors, the number of lines. So there are many, many different details that uh, are needed to, uh, to come to a final product. The speciality, the speciality is also that all these things are handmade and uh, to make something by hand, it is very difficult and very challenging. Wow, amazing. So they are all handmade? Handmade, yes. Handmade. They are all handmade. Yes. And uh, it takes a very long time to it takes take... A very long uh, time. Yes, it, very, it takes a very long time to make uh, this kind of jewelry. Just to mention, uh, for right. example, this piece. Okay. How this, long does it take to make a gondola bracelet like this? A gondola bracelet like this uh, takes a minimum from one to two days. One wow. to two days working because uh, you have uh, uh, to go through different process of making. Mm -hmm. Process of making uh, always come from uh, uh, the idea, the design, the combination of colors, the finding of the right uh, color on one side and the right color on the other side. And it takes uh, a long time because uh, you, are, you have to be sure with the, the final effect. In this case, uh, the gondola bracelet is a double-sided uh, jewelry. And uh, we know that uh, with a double-sided uh, piece of jewelry, you can have uh, two different color combinations of one single piece. But it is not easy to arrive uh, to choose uh, the right combination. Nice. Because uh, you have to study which is the right face, uh, which is uh, the right uh, position of the beads in order to get uh, a more catching combination of colors. I see. So you need to make sure that the front and the back must match. Yes, sure. Oh, yes. You have, to pay, you have to pay attention that if you decide that uh, one face uh, must be yellow and white, the other face uh, you want to be yellow and rose, then you have to pay attention in order that uh, the yellow is on the both sides on the same place mm -hmm. and the white and rose are matched in the right way. I see. Okay, this question is not part of our question, Mr. Giovanni. Um, but I want to ask, what gave you uh, inspiration to make a double-sided design? Oh. The double-sided double -sided uh, inspiration First of all, we decided, uh, we have uh, studied the market trends, uh, we have, uh, together with Abib, uh, we have uh, um, made some uh, research on the market, uh, and we have uh, come to the conclusion that uh, nowadays, uh, what uh, people like most uh, is to have uh, the possibility to have a nice piece of jewelry with the new designs, uh, with the very trendy designs, but on the same time to play with the colors, to have the possibility to, one day my mood is for the yellow white, okay, I wear yellow white. The following day, my mood is like going for full yellow, then I got a full yellow. Mm. So, or taking in consideration all these kind of trends, all these kinds of feelings in the market, we come to the conclusion that it was, a, and it is still the right time to produce and to offer people double-sided uh, uh, pieces of jewelry. The one uh, in your Easy. hands, uh, yes. Rachel, it belongs uh, to the 2023 Ramadan. Yes. So it's still uh, one of our newest yes, pieces. On the new, yes. the new pieces here in Abib's uh, retail shops. And uh, uh, another nice uh, thing about uh, this product is that mm -hmm. uh, the shape that you see here. Yes. Uh, it <laughs> looks like a, a big. O, like, a, yeah, like big, a big O, yeah, yes. yeah. a big O, it, uh, it is like uh, the surprise face uh, <laughs> that people do and people make uh, when they see this kind of, the kind of pieces. They make, whoa, they whoa. say, oh, what a nice piece of jewelry. So we used this uh, uh, feeling, this expression in, uh, in the customers to reproduce it uh, in the piece, uh, in the jewelry.
I see, it is really well. I remember the first few times when we showed um, double sided jewelry mm. on our Instagram live, on our Facebook live, everyone was like, wow, you can wear it both sides. Yes, you can wear it both sides. So buy one piece. But you get two designs. Yes. Right. Isn't it amazing? Yes. Very amazing. Minimum two designs. Minimum two designs. Minimum two designs. Yes. Wow. Yes, we have a customer uh, uh, audience, Kina Hashim, saying, nice, really nice indeed. Uh, oh, in Bahasa, so someone saying, Lawa. Lawa means beautiful. Beautiful in Malay. So, Lawa, so nice. Alright, two sided bases, such a brilliant idea, sir. Thank you. <laughs> we have this. Uh, by Zuya. Alright, so I say you're welcome. Thank you for the appreciation of, of the explanation. Alright, so we have uh, okay, we have a question here by Iyas Muhammad. Hello, Iyas Muhammad. Uh, gondola, Mr. Jorani Pagan Tadi, the inspirasi dari apa? So her question is, gondola is inspired by what? What? Yes. Marco can help us uh, Marco explain can help. this uh, okay. inspiration. I think I have to take out the picture, yes? Yeah, yes, course. this picture. Alright, so what is uh, what inspired the gondola collection? Yeah. As for the Stella one, the inspiration is still the, our uh, Venetian heritage. Mm -hmm. And in this case, gondola is the most iconic boat in the world. The black one you can see here in the picture that represents worldwide our city. So the collection basically takes direct inspiration from our boats and our oh. history. Please consider that these boats are very, very ancient in the history and is, uh, there is a um, century trad tradition about using this kind of uh, transportation. All right, maybe we so, can put it closer yeah, and we can see how it looks like. So basically the idea is to create an icon that is uh, really connected to our uh, history, no? Yes, that is amazing. All right, someone is asking how much is it? Um, depending on which item you're asking, because someone is asking how much is it, sir? Um, FYI, uh, boleh bagi tahu lah yang mana anda nak tahu harga. Let us know in the comment section which one you want to know the price. We have all the prices with us, no problem. I right, mean, you can shoot the double sided as well. Yeah, so our gondola pieces, we make it double sided. So shiny, so beautiful. Yes. If I may add a, a, right. a nice, uh, a nice um, explanation about the gondola. All right. Apart from the shape of Apart the boat, from the, shape from the, boat yes, yes. the double sided that has been decided is because mm -hmm. even the boat, mm -hmm. the, the traditional Venetian boat, yes. has one color outside, generally black, mm -hmm. but inside where people sit. You have a, yes, you have red, uh, you have yellow, you have different colors. Yes. So also this uh, is part of the inspiration about the Wow, that is true. I am. Uh, I've actually been to Venice once, mm -hmm. and I remember in the boat we get to choose which boat we want because some boats they decorate it with uh, cloths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The exactly. seats are cushion seats. Yes. <laughs> So yes, I think yeah, that is yeah. true. Very comfortable when Very you sit. Very comfortable, uh, yes. and I, um, that time was winter time, so they gave you a little blanket. It yeah. was really nice. Ah, yes. yes. Blanket uh, in Venice, uh, when especially if you go to, to take a, a, mm. a boat uh, like that, uh, and you want to stay outside uh, yes. during winter, it's better to be covered. Yes. All right. So this is the inspiration, yes, Mohammed, behind the gondola pieces. Okay, so we have our next question. What purity of gold do we work with? Mm, only 916. Only 916. All the uh, all Italia collections, as you know, are made with 916 gold. <laughs> No matter if they are white, uh, pink, uh, yellow, only 916. This can only be done, uh, can always be uh, proved if you, if the customers want uh, to be 100% uh, sure about the purity, but uh, Abib uh, can guarantee the purity anytime. 916. 916 uh, is a very, a very delicate kind of purity. It is not easy to produce uh, pieces of jewelry in this character because uh, it is a uh, very soft, uh, 
very delicate to work, but we have uh, reached the technology to be able to produce uh, even elaborated, uh, even complicated designs, but mm -hmm. always working only 916. Only 916, go. All right, only 916. Byron, may I know how much is this masterpiece? I think a lot of people are asking about this gondola bracelet. Uh, I will we'll share the price later, alright? So for this gondola bracelet, we'll share the price on Instagram stories later. So if you want to know, uh, check out our Instagram stories. We will share the price as well as the weight for this. Okay, but don't worry, all these items are available at all Habib showrooms. So you can come over, you can check it out. But only available at Habib. This is an exclusive Habib collection. Alright, Fatih, uh, love the idea of different look in one jewelry, for example. Uh, the double sided here on one side, white on the other side. Yes, it is genius. This one is really genius. Noraini, berapa harga emas hari ini? 320 ringgit tetapi kami memberi potongan 12 ringgit off So selepas diskaun, 308 ringgit untuk harga emas hari ini ya Untuk harga emas hari ini Okay, let me see if we have any more questions Nice design and we'll get it, Sohana Alright, nice design, you'll get it Definitely get it Tag us on social media so that Mr. Joani and Mr. Marco can also see which piece you have gotten Iconic design, yes, really an iconic design indeed. Uh, someone said, wee wee, wee wee. Is that Italian? Wee wee? Wee wee, um, no one seems Italian. That one is French. French, yes. Ah, wee oui, wee, oui, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. This one Italian, right? Oh, si, Italian. Si. Ah. Italian is C. Si. Italian is C, si, C. Si. Alright. Uh, yes, Mama, I must visit to Venice untuk ambil mood. Uh, ambil gambar sampai pakai gondola So, uh, an audience saying that she wants to wear this in Venice with the gondola Inside, inside the gondola boat that is such And passing under the Rialto Bridge Under the Rialto Bridge, yes Okay, uh, alright, so moving on to the next question that we have Alright, are you ready? The next question we have is How long does it take to make one piece of jewelry? For example, the gondola I just like you mentioned it takes a little long So, uh, how long does it take again? A piece of gondola. A piece of gondola takes a minimum two days. It is incredible, but it is true. Two days to make a piece of gondola bracelet like this. Two days, and in two days, you at the end of the two days, the two days, you get a piece of gondola bracelet that can be two colors. One side, one color, two sides, uh, uh, second side, another color. We can also have a bigger one, and in a bib you can find even a larger one. Yes. Yes, a little heavier, but uh, very nice also mm -hmm. because in three lines uh, you have mm -hmm. more possibility of color combination. Yes. Two days uh, because uh, uh, all this stuff, all this jewelry are handmade. Don't forget this. Handmade means uh, one person sits. Uh, at the table has many different uh, pieces uh, to assemble together and it is not easy and it must not be done quickly otherwise uh, you can't get this kind of jewelry only with the tranquility with the calm and with the reflection you can get uh, the right color combination and the right shape if you do things uh, quickly you don't get uh, this kind of thing so that's why it, it is needed uh, so pretty long time, one day, two days. Uh, we have uh, some pieces that are not here that even takes uh, three days to, to, to come to the end. I see. So that is how long it takes to make one gondola piece. Uh, but for us, so fast, we can just buy and go home. But there are so much, so, so, so much effort that goes behind that not everyone knows. Yeah. All right, so how... Maybe, Mr. Giovanni, you can walk us through the process of making an Oro Italia 916 piece. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. To make an Oro Italia 916 uh, jewel, yes. it is a process uh, that is uh, made of different steps. You start uh, from the designing of the idea, from the project, uh, from sharing these ideas also with the bib in order to have a feedback. And when uh, the overall idea has been come uh, to, uh, to the final point. Then it starts uh, the physical production. Physical production means uh, getting the gold, uh, 
putting together the different beads, uh, making, the go making the beads the right color, the right purity, checking the purity, because if the purity is not uh, the right one, the production don't, doesn't go on. And uh, to make a piece of jewelry like this uh, is also um, demanding and it's challenging because uh, we said before that it is uh, uh, all a question of craftsmanship. So you need uh, skilled workers, you need uh, skilled people to produce uh, in a perfect way this piece of jewelry. Skilled workers need to be trained. Yes. So this is also another part of the process. That is true. And uh, you have to, to get uh, the right pieces to sew them because another important thing to, for the customer to know is that mm -hmm. when we say handmade, yes. it is li really like uh, working with the needle. Working when when you when you sew when you sew something uh -huh. in the garment, you need a needle, right? Yes. It's the same thing to do this kind of things. You need the needle and the gold, and like a tailor man, like a tailor ship, you go through the beads. Uh, you put together the beads, and like uh, working with needle and thread. Wow. So you can imagine the how long the process of making a, a, a this kind of jewelry is. Amazing. So, can I say that each and every single bead has to be placed yeah. one by one? One by one, using a needle, like uh, like like, like, like sewing, like sewing, like sewing. Yes. right, right, like sewing. Wow. So each and every single bead that you see here mm -hmm. is placed in one by one yes. by our partners, uh, by the Carmens. Over, yes, skilled. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it, it takes a uh, uh, pretty long time uh, before getting uh, uh, the worker to be so skilled uh, to be able to produce uh, a piece of jewelry like one of that. It is not uh, a very quick process. Mm. It takes time. It takes, takes time. time. Alright, we have a, uh, someone say, a huge fan of Oitania, been collecting your uh, jewelry pieces for many years now. Thank you so much, Dolly. Thank you, Dolly. Uh, so yes, uh, someone's asking how much is the gold price today, 320 ringgit, but we have uh, 12 ringgit off for you, so after discount, it is 308 ringgit for the gold price today. Sharil, thank you Rachel, you're welcome Sharil. Okay, we have a question, Farah right, Hafika, she's asking what's the difference between Oe and regular gold, I will answer you, alright. The difference is that Oe Italia 916 is produced in... Italy. Italy. Yeah, produced in Italy and uh, the regular gold pieces are produced in Malaysia. So that's the difference between the gold pieces. So all Italian number six is produced in Italy um, and the regular gold pieces produced in Malaysia. So there is a little bit difference in terms of craftsmanship um, depending on your designs also. So up to you, whichever one you like, um, you can get any of the pieces. We have both of them here at Habit, but of course today, our highlight is of course our Italia 916. So yes, uh, that is the difference between Oro Italia and as well as normal, normal gold. Uh, also, Hannah, please put at your hand, I want to see, please put at your hand, your manner. You want to put on my hand to see how it looks like, is it? Okay, we're going to put it on so that they can see how it looks like on the hand. So these are the pieces. So like Mr. Giovanni, uh, mm -hmm. just now he was saying, there's one layer, there's two layers. We also have three layers. Yeah. Happy, uh, that's yeah. sold out. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. sold in out In Abiba, is available also the three layers. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. but it's sold out here. Mm, good business, so, uh, so that's why we only have the first one layer and two layer to show you in this live. But if you want to get the three layer one, you can also check with your nearest Habib showroom and you will be able to get the three layer one. But for uh, we are here live at Habib Ampang Point Duo, Habib Ampang Duo, and we have these pieces only. Sangat limited, so siapa cepat dia dapat boleh datang ke Habib yang berdekatan dengan anda untuk dapatkan. Uh, yes, Muhammad, gondola is such a masterpiece indeed. We have honey, clap, 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 yes. Uh, indeed, really, really beautiful pieces. Alright, so the one I'm wearing here, this one is the gondola. Uh, we have it in single layer, double layer, as well as triple layer. Alright, so okay, uh, next question. Uh, so we talked about uh, the gondola. Don't question. forget to, to tell customers that gondola is available also as a necklace. Oh yeah, we also Long have it in necklace, yes. Which is very elegant when it is uh, on the on the neck. Yes. And uh, especially because uh, uh, 
the possibility of having a long necklace mm -hmm. like this one gives a much more lighter to the neck of the lady instead mm -hmm. of being the classic 40 45 cm mm -hmm. better having a 60 65 cm so it falls like here mm -hmm. and it gives more lighter to the lady all right so yes this one is in 80 cm so especially yeah. untuk wanita yang berhijab so here in malaysia we have um, our muslim ladies who wear the head scarf so when they wear the head scarves it covers part of their chest so having a longer necklace is very good as well right. so they can see the design right, so right, yes right. So untuk uh, wanita-wanita yang berhijau yang ni memang sesuai untuk anda sebab yang ni panjang dia 80 cm ya panjang dia 80 cm so kalau anda suka gondola design anda boleh uh, anda boleh dapatkan gondola necklace yang ni 80 cm uh, do you have other lengths uh, I think only 80 cm right we only have it yeah, yeah generally yes but uh, hmm. also the necklace can be ordered uh, in uh, different lengths hmm, all right 80 um, 75 uh, but Whatever. if you are free hair, so if you're free hair like me, like Rachel, um, what I can do is I can wear it double layer like this. So I can like shorten, wear it as a shorter necklace so you get a different kind of style as well. Mm -hmm. So yes, so many different ways that you can wear it. You can wear it single layer, you can wear it double layer. Right. Really gorgeous. Alright, so the next question is, what are your favorite pieces? Mm -hmm. ah, what are your favorite pieces? That's a super complex question. Uh, super, super complex, complex question. question. Yeah, Which is your favorite piece? Personally, I think that the gondola one is the one of the most iconic and honestly, it's very elegant, it's very versatile because of the double size, the double side, mm -hmm. that it's uh, very, yeah, of course, it's wonderful to wear it in a elegant manner for a special occasion and it's also possible to choose the gold combination so in my opinion it's really really iconic and definitely one of the best pieces in our collection so right. that's my favorite. all right so your favorite oh, okay so for mr marco his favorite is a gondola how about you mr giovanni for Mr. Giovanni, uh, this Mr. year, this year, okay, this, this year. This year, my favorite uh, is. I would spend, uh, really, honestly speaking, I would say that my favorite this year is what we uh, produced for the Ramadan 2023. I mean, uh, this style, this style uh, that is also double-sided, but this concept, uh, this O concept uh, that you can have uh, like this as a bracelet, you can have. Uh, as a bangle yes. with a bigger O and you can have uh, also like uh, this bracelet uh, which uh, is a little different in design if we co yeah thank you Rachel if you compare mm -hmm. with the brace with the bangle so no matter which one you are going to select but if you if I should say I would like to stay with this design because uh, it gives me the idea of perfection the roundness uh, the roundness uh, shape uh, of this bracelet gives me gives me personally the idea of uh, first uh, softness and perfection what begins ends in the same way wow that is amazing and it is a wow piece we hope uh, it will become and will stay a wow piece. A wow piece, all right. Okay, so one last question for me before I read the comments. Um, how should our audience, uh, I know we have so many Oro Italian fans out there, which are us who Peminat, peminat Oro Italian, saya satu nak, which pun adalah peminat. Okay, so how should our fans, Oro Italian Six fans, take care of their jewelry? So how should they take care of their jewelry? Um, it is very easy, but it must be very important uh, to follow simple suggestions, simple uh, recommendations, to be, to always uh, have a, a, a piece of jewelry treated in its right way. For example, you never take a shower with this uh, jewelry on. Don't do any hard homework or any kind of work uh, where you have to use your hands uh, or your fingers just to wear these for special occasions and I'm sure your yes. customers will uh, have a lot of special occasions and replace uh, the pieces of jewelry in a very 
gentle, nice, elegant box like the one you can find in a bib. Yes. One, uh, once they stay here, it's like uh, they are staying in, in a... In a in, in their room, right? <laughs> in, their, in their bedroom, in they their can bedroom. spend the night uh, in total tranquility when they are inside their cases. All right. You can uh, uh, polish them uh, with soft uh, textile, with soft uh, um, guard clothes, right? Mm -hmm. And keep them away from the dust yes. or from a particular. Um, ambient uh, and, and, and location where there are smokes or dust or something that can stain them. Can I cook when I wear my old Italian? Uh, better not. You, better not. Okay. you never know what happens when you cook. Uh, you, can, uh, you can spoil something, something that can leave a stain on the, on the surface. So all is better, all is better. Replace the pieces uh, when you're doing some homework. All right. But so when you go to office, uh, use it. When you go to office, yes. When, when you, you go, go to work. Uh, when you go dating. Yes. <laughs> especially for dating. Especially for dating. Yeah. Yes. Perfect pieces so they can shine mm -hmm. while you're dating and your date is like yeah. very shiny girl. All right. Uh, so it's honey. Wow, one layer so nice. I think she's mentioning this uh, one layer. Mm -hmm. This is the single layer gondola bracelet she Yes, very very nice, honey. One one layer, so nice. Uh, I you say, wow, so beautiful, wow, so beautiful. So, Hannah, how much is the one and two layer gondola? I will share the prices on Insta stories later. Don't worry. Uh, for a one layer and two layers, so elegant the necklace. Does it have size forty five, honey? We don't have size forty five for this one, um, but maybe we can custom make or something. So you can check with your nearest habit and see if we can uh, arrange for you. Um, okay, honey, eighty cm must be heavy. The eighty cm one is about eighty six grams, so this eighty six gram. I think it's not too heavy. It's a very good piece, um, but you don't want it to be too light. Also, right? You don't want it to be too light, or else it's going to be too thin, and it's so easy to. Cool, yes, because that was his goal, right? If I may add uh, mm -hmm. something, if uh, you want uh, a piece of gondola to be lighter, yes. it affects uh, the general designs. Uh, I mean, only with this kind of beads, uh, with this gauge of beads, uh, it is possible to get this look. I see. If you change uh, the kind of beads, uh, you cannot have the same look, the same mm -hmm. brightness, the same uh, overall image of the piece. Alright, so you need to have a certain weight. If mm -hmm. not, we cannot make this design. Right. Yes. Right. Alright, okay, let me see if we have any other comments. All collections are beautiful. I'm your big fan now. Your big fan of Habib. Or big fan of Mr. Giovanni and Mr. Marco. Uh, Alright, how much is the Ramadan collection bracelet? We will also share it on our Insta stories later. So if you want to know the pricing, don't worry, we will share it shortly. Okay, so I can see everyone is very happy. So we have come to the end of our live today. Thank you so much everyone for joining our live. Terima kasih semua for joining our live. I hope you enjoyed uh, discovering the secrets together with Mr. Giovanni as well as Mr. Marco. So terima kasih semua for joining. Any last words you want to say to our audience before we end today's live? Any last words? Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Oh, Which is uh, grazie in Italian. Yes, Thank grazie. You. Wait, sorry, no. grazie. 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 Okay, yes. Thank you to you, Rachel, and to Abiba for the opportunity to talk about uh, gold yes. and Italian gold. Thank you. Thank you. It's been, it's been a real pleasure to be here with you today and see you soon. Alright, so thank you again Mr. Giovanni and Mr. Marco for coming all the way to Italy to sunny Kuala Lumpur yeah. and I hope to see both of you again soon also. Richard. Yes, thank you so much everyone for watching. Terima kasih so much sekali lagi uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! Ciao! Ciao!